Hey everybody, I hope that you're all doing good. So, I posted a workout today um, that is a one-to-one. -one. So this is a uh, what's called a burst training or a high intensity interval workout. Um, a lot of you know, who know me right now, know that I'm not big into cardio. Um, and that's pretty much since I stopped training for triathlons. So, you know, if you're trying to lose fat and maintain your muscle and you're not training for some sort of an event like a marathon or a triathlon, there's really no reason, in my opinion, to be going for longer than 30 minutes on a treadmill. Um, and in fact, you can burn a lot more fat if you use high intensity interval training. So just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I used to work out when I was doing triathlons, I would do two a day workouts. So some of my days I'd be working out for an hour and a half in the morning and an hour and a half in the afternoon, um, which was very tiring. Um, I stopped doing that because it was actually wrecking my body and wrecking my hormones. And I was actually struggling to lose fat off my body, um, which is hard to believe when you're exercising that much. So always keep in mind that more is not always better. And um, these burst training workouts are really, really very good um, as far as hormones go. And so ladies, if you're looking for the type of workout that's gonna balance your hormones and help you burn more fat, um, this is the type of workout you want to be doing. You know, I don't recommend slogging along for 60 minutes, um, steady state on a treadmill. So, um, but a lot of people really struggle with the amount of intensity to include in, um, in your burst or your high intensity interval workout. And so the workout that I posted today was, um, it's a, it's a more advanced workout. So, this interval is one to one, meaning um, I do it one minute, one minute. So one minute, super high intensity, and then you take a minute rest, and you do that 10 to 15 times. So if you do 10 intervals, it's gonna take you 20 minutes. If you do 15 intervals, it's gonna take you 30. I don't recommend going up uh, above 30 minutes for these high intensity interval sessions. And to be honest, if you're working hard enough, you won't be able to go past 30 minutes. Um, I just got done with an interval session and so I'm a hot mess right now. Um, but I am gonna show you, I figured rather than try and tell you how intense your interval should be, I should just show you how intense your interval should be. So I'm gonna do a one-to-one -one and I'm gonna do two cycles through it just to give you an idea of what it should look like. Um, keep in mind that this is an advanced interval. If you're a beginner, you're going to want to start with a shorter interval, so something like 20 or 30 seconds of work, followed by a minute to a minute and a half of rest. Um, otherwise, you know, this is probably going to be a little bit too advanced, a little bit too hard for you. So, um, I have my timer right here. I'm going to go ahead and start that, and so you're going to see, and um, one other thing before I get started, I'm going to stop talking in a second. Um, you want to make sure that you're either doing this on a bike or um, you can do it, uh, you know, sprint intervals at a track. Using a treadmill doesn't typically work very well for this because the treadmill belt doesn't speed up fast enough to you know to really give you the work you need during the interval so i like to do these intervals on my uh, my spin bike or i do them at the track or you could use a jump rope um, you could do jumping jacks during these intervals so there's a lot of different things you could do um, but sometimes the machines like treadmills and stair steppers don't work because they just don't speed up fast enough so if you have a spin bike you're going to get yourself into a pretty heavy gear and so there's going to be a lot of resistance. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with a one minute work interval. And I'm going to show you how hard you should really be working. All right, I'm going to hit the start button now. So my resistance is really heavy. the time I get done with this interval, I won't be able to talk or hardly breathe, and my legs are going to want to stop working. 
You can see I'm getting slower. I'm only halfway through. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Five. Oh. Rest. Your one minute rest is going to seem really short. So, during your rest period, you're going to keep moving, but you're going to go real easy because you got to catch your breath. Push that lactic acid out of the muscles and get ready for the next interval. So you can see, by the time I get done with 10 intervals, I can't do it anymore. So this is why these workouts are short, but they burn a lot of fat. All right, here we go. Next one. Try not to look at the timer. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Five. Got it. Whew. All right. So you get your one minute break here. You get to do eight more of those. But I have already done my interval workout for today, so I'm done. I hope this was useful information for you. If you have questions or you're looking for a custom program that puts together interval training, weight training, rest days, and nutrition, I'd be happy to help you out. So, Private message me or email me at kellybailey1980 at gmail.com. Have a great day.